Hi everybody and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. In a previous video I explained how vowel sounds change depending on the accent of the speaker. However, consonant sounds also vary and these differences can cause confusion if you're not familiar with them. So, in today's video I'm going to explain the most common consonant changes which occur in English. Let's take a look in a bit more detail. One of the most noticeable differences between English accents is roticity, which describes when the letter R is pronounced. Non-rhotic accents only pronounce the letter R before vowel sounds. For example, river, return, rather, record. This pronunciation is common in most of England, Wales, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Singapore and West Africa. In contrast, rhotic accents always pronounce the letter R. For example, river, return, rather, record. Rhotic accents are common in Southwest England, Scotland, Ireland, and North America. Furthermore, the er sound may be replaced with a voice tap in some accents. For example, really, very, great, entry. This pronunciation is common in the Midlands, Wales, Scotland, South Africa and India. The T sound may also be replaced with a voice tap between vowels when followed by an unstressed syllable. For example, better, rider, pretty, bottom. This pronunciation is common in Liverpool, Northern Ireland, Australia, New Zealand and North America. In contrast, some accents prefer to glottalize the t sound in this position, which means the air is stopped in the throat instead of the mouth. So the previous examples may also be pronounced better, writer, pretty, bottom. This pronunciation is common in South England, North East England, Scotland and Singapore. Some accents only contain the dark L sound. This means the L sound is always produced with the back of the tongue raised. For example, level local, legal, loyal. This pronunciation is common in Scotland, Australia, New Zealand and North America. In contrast, some accents only contain the light L sound. This means the L sound is never produced with the back of the tongue raised. For example, level, local, loyal, legal. This pronunciation is common in Northeast England, Wales, Ireland and India. H dropping is when the H sound is removed from the beginning of words. All English accents feature H dropping in function words. However, some accents feature H dropping in content words as well, although this varies according to the formality of the situation. For example, hello, ari, om, appy. This pronunciation is common in most of England, Wales, and Jamaica. G dropping is when the ng sound is replaced by the n sound 
in the unstressed syllables of words. For example, running, jumping, laughing, playing. This pronunciation is common in Southwest England, Northeast England, African American Vernacular English, the Southern United States, and West Africa. TH stopping is when the th and th sounds are replaced by the t and d sounds. For example, tanks, helt, weather, brother. This pronunciation is common in London, Liverpool, Ireland, African American Vernacular English, New York, India, Jamaica, Singapore and West Africa. In contrast, some accents prefer to front the th sounds. This means the and v sounds are replaced with the f and v sounds. So the previous examples may also be pronounced thanks, health, weather, brother. This pronunciation usually exists alongside th stopping and it's common in London and African American vernacular English. Finally, the voiceless plosives p, t, and k are weakly aspirated in some accents. This means there's no delay before the following vowel sound, so no extra breath can be heard. For example, bay, dork, gick, del. This pronunciation is common in Northern England, Scotland, South Africa, and India. Well, that's the end of the lesson, but have you noticed any of these accent features before? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, goodbye.